Hi and welcome. Uh, this time I will show you the progress that I made on this development board with the PIC microprocessors. I use a PIC uh, 18F458 and I will show you the startup sequence powered by Microsoft PIC 18F458. Welcome. And uh, we enter main menu. As you first can notice, I have get real time clock to function. It's now well about 10 past 11 a.m. year 2008 month 12 date 23rd day Tuesday. So tomorrow is Christmas Day here in Sweden. Uh, we have the calculator and stuff like that. And a the graph. which isn't supposed to do that. This is a blue screen, something uh, uh, went wrong. It uh, addressed a pixel outside the display area. Well, we can disable that and go back. Watch it function. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it draws the last curve in another color, so it's easy to see. It's not so easy to see that in different colors. Green, yellow and red. We can also make it to be a fully drawn diagram like this. Then it's easier to see. Can, I can disable that function. And uh, redraw the whole page. Uh, as you can see up here, we can have uh, three seconds per, per page, but also we can uh, change that with the other AD channel. Let's go back. That. We have the Bresenham graphic, which is pretty fast now. And we have number A, is the, yeah. Here we can see the different values on the AD channels and the quantized value, value and some uh, registers just to see how the uh, pick is configured. We can actually change the value of the AD, AD con 1 and AD con 0 mm -hmm. register with the buttons, but let's not do that because it's working right now. And we have text, which <laughs> now is a yellow background. Uh, we can go back and we can go into this and change it to white. Nice back white background. And also then the globe is white. We have had a blue screen here if it was going to work. We can reset the device by pressing number nine. Then we can test the blue screen to see that the program is working. Working like that. Also, we have this button here, which, uh, which gives the CPU all the power to make PVM music from the analog in. Which also in the AD graph we can put a uh, audio line in on the AD channel, and we can hear the output on my PVM channel. And it's like a cool equalizer, or no, not equalizer, but spectrum analyzer. Uh, this is the memory speed test, it's boring, so you can try another, the XY matrix. Yeah, you can like play around with it, so that looks like it's spinning. And We have the reset, we have the count, which show, shows how fast you can count. We have music, also, which I told about the PWM. RGB color generator is the button. So you can play around and do different kind of colors. I don't know how good it shows right now, it's so bright. You can make it go all. Red, if you want to. That's purple, white, cyan. Can go back. Yeah, nice. Well, it's how good it shows in the camera, but it's it's red.
it looks really great on display, but uh, maybe not on the on the camera. I don't know. When I go back now, the globe is also red, and uh, the text uh, the background is red. Uh, what more do we have? Mm. Oh yeah, we ha we can switch uh, from standing mode into landscape mode, but not for the function yet. And we can set the time and get a <laughs> switch uh, hourglass here then, and we can go up and down. Uh, and if, w if you want to save this, set save, and you get a small disk. Uh, exit, up, down, plus, minus, save. And this is seconds, minutes, hours, years, month, uh, date, and which day it is. So it's date number second, so it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tisdag in Swedish. Oh yeah. Uh, so here is this all uh, all CPU power to PVM music. So if I was to put an audio line into my HDM zero, uh, we can get uh, audio out on my PVM channel zero. And uh, that's pretty much for this uh, time. So I got the uh, BMP uh, routine function and the real time clock to function properly, and the PVM music to function pretty properly. So, bye, and I hope uh, to see uh, all your projects on YouTube. Bye bye.